Looks like this is it. Oh, it stinks. Sure does. No way, Leon. Way? <gasps> Are you out of your mind? I knew you'd be fine if you landed on your butt. This figure comes with a ton, a ton of accessories, and uh, pretty much all of them are really, really, really great. First, I will start with the grenades. Um, he has three grenades, two frag grenades, and one incendiary grenade. Um, I probably would have rathered a flash grenade, since those are pretty important to uh, Resident Evil 4, but um, it doesn't really matter. Just getting the grenades is uh, cool enough. Uh, they do have stickers on them, as you can see here. They um, just have stickers on them saying what they are. Uh, you can't really see it that good. Um, be careful taking these out of the packaging because they are put in with, uh, with tape. And while um, undoing them, the stickers came off on the tape. But uh, it's pretty easy to get back on. Uh, surprisingly, he can actually hold the um, the grenades pretty well in his uh, in his hand. Not the not the gun hand, but uh, in the kind of open hand. It uh, it fits pretty well in there, and it doesn't look like it's going to move really anytime soon, which is uh, pretty cool. So Leon's next little accessory is a uh, first aid spray, which again is a very important part of the uh, Resident Evil games. Since uh, if they didn't have these, you'd probably be dying all over the place. Um, it's just as detailed as the grenades. It's got the sticker on it. And uh, again, it fits very well into Leon's hand. Alright, so next up, we have um, yet again another thing that is extremely important to Resident Evil 4. His, uh, his knife. Thankfully, the knife is not as big as uh, Chris's from Resident Evil 5. In fact, putting the two together, uh, his looks pretty ridiculous. Uh, speaking of Chris's knife, uh, if you'll remember from my review of him way back when, um, I said that Chris could not hold his knife, or I think I said that, but if I didn't, Chris can't hold his knife. Uh, Leon, however, can, and uh, yeah, that's actually pretty good that he can. So now I'm going to put his knife in the... Uh, the holder here, and uh, let's check this out. I right, put it in the wrong way. There, that looks uh, pretty good. Yeah, it fits in there uh, really well, um, surprisingly, actually. Um, since it's pointed down, I, I thought it'd be um, kind of coming out a bit, but uh, it fits just as well as uh, Chris's does in his back. All right, this figure comes with a ton, a ton of guns. Uh, first off is this um, submachine gun. Maybe it's a pistol. I don't know. It's uh, pretty cool. I don't exactly remember this being in Resident Evil 2, but uh, I do remember it being in Resident Evil 4. Just like everything else so far, Leon can hold the gun very, very well in his hands. He is not going to drop this. So uh, already this figure is... Um, has a one-up on uh, Chris because he couldn't hold anything other than his shotgun. And uh, this figure can already hold a uh, submachine gun. Next accessory is a very predictable one. You got a pistol here. Uh, very nice. It looks very, very similar to the one that, that we got with, uh, with Chris. Thankfully, Leon can in fact hold his... Uh, his pistol in his hand, which, uh, like I said, gives him a one-up on Chris, since uh, Chris could not hold his uh, his pistol. Uh, it would just keep falling out of his hand. Um, it does take a little bit of work getting it um, getting it in there, but once it's in, 
once it's in, it's not going to fall out or anything. Why won't that focus? Yeah, it's not going to fall out or anything. And uh, it looks really nice. I just realized how long this video is getting, but um, I might try and put it in two parts, whatever. Um, anyway, uh, Leon has one more accessory. That is the, uh, the Riot Shotgun, which, uh, again... It was in Resident Evil 4, I don't exactly remember it in Resident Evil 2, but, uh, yeah, this was extremely helpful in the game. You got, um, once again, nice detailing, very, very nice, it's, uh, very cool, so, uh, let's put this bad boy in, uh, Leon's hands. Alright, so here is Leon with the, uh, the riot, the riot gun, uh, this was kind of a pain to get in his hand, but, um, but it is in there. So, uh, yeah, all of Leon's accessories are able to fit in his hand, which, uh, again, is a definite one-up on uh, our boy Chris. Uh, he looks very, very nice holding it. Um, I'm, I'm really not sure what I'm going to have him display, uh, displayed holding. Um, it's probably down between the, uh, the combat shotgun and the uh, submachine gun. I believe I almost forgot about this. Uh, I, for I almost forgot to talk about the uh, gun holster. Uh, unlike Chris from Resident Evil 5, this does not unhook. You just kind of take the pistol and slide it right in. And uh, it fits perfectly. Which, again, is another one-up on Chris. Because uh, this was always unhooked and uh, it never really looked right. So, uh, yay. Alright, so I have uh, one last thing to talk about, and that would be the uh, the articulation. Uh, I'll start off with the, the head. The head moves all the way around. Um, moves up and down. It's got a lot of uh, head movement. That's probably the best uh, point of articulation on the entire figure. Then uh, we got the arms here. They rotate all the way around. They can go up, down up, down, rotate, around, very nice. Then you do have more articulation here, his, uh, his elbows bend, which is always, always a good thing. This one moves like that, so you, you can have him posed as, posing his uh, guns in a better way. His hands rotate, which again helps with the, uh, the gun posing. There is absolutely no waist articulation, which, uh, I'm always happy about. I never usually like uh, waist articulation in figures like this. And uh, as for his legs, he has absolutely no articulation whatsoever. He is uh, sculpted in such a way so that he's kind of uh, crouching, but not not really. Uh, he's kind of half crouching, half standing up, which uh, I, I think looks really okay. Uh, that was really the only thing that I didn't like about it, um, but. I think it looks really okay. Alright, before I end this, I think I'll, uh, I'll do one last thing, and that is a comparison. So, uh, I will bring in the Resident Evil 5 Chris Redfield figure, and uh, set him next to uh, Leon. And uh, I gotta say, the amount of awesomeness between these two, these two figures is just outstanding. So, uh, yeah, Leon is pretty much the exact same size as Chris Boulder Punching Redfield. And uh, they look really, really great next to each other, I think. Uh, this is absolutely how I will be displaying the two of them. Um, so, all right, closing comments. Um, Leon is a fantastic figure that in no way let me down. Um, he has great sculpt. Um, Really, really great accessories. Um, decent articulation. Uh, his articulation definitely isn't as good as um, Chris. But uh, I think the lack of articulation uh, kind of helps the look of the figure. And uh, yeah, it's really, really great. Um, so yeah, Leon is an absolute must-buy. If you can find him, like I said in the beginning... Um, I think Leon is kind of rare. I don't know if he is still now, but when I first got him a couple years ago, he was pretty hard to track down and uh, 
kind of expensive. So, uh, yeah. Definitely, if you can find this figure, pick it up. And uh, it is definitely worth adding to any any Resident Evil fan's collection.